Dive into the world of poetry with Robert Frost's timeless piece, The Road Not Taken. Born in San Francisco in the late 19th century, Robert Frost was an American poet known for his realistic depictions of rural life. His work often explored complex social and philosophical themes, capturing the essence of early 20th century America with vivid imagery and profound insight. Frost's poetry has left an indelible mark on the literary world, with his contributions earning him four Pulitzer Prizes for poetry. Among his numerous works, The Road Not Taken stands out as a cultural touchstone. Published in 1916, this poem resonates with readers across generations, its universal theme of choice and consequence striking a chord in each of us. This poem's enduring popularity attests to Frost's mastery in weaving words into a tapestry of thought-provoking imagery and emotion. With that, it's time to venture into the woods and start our journey through The Road Not Taken. Now, immerse yourself in the words and rhythm of The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood. And I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Every word, every line of this poem paints a vivid picture, a moment frozen in time. A solitary traveller standing at a fork in the road, contemplating the path to take. The imagery is so powerful, the rhythm so soothing. It's as if we are there with the traveller, feeling the crunch of the leaves underfoot, the coolness of the morning air. The choices we make, the paths we choose, all lead us to who we are. And in the end, it is these choices, these roads we take, that make all the difference. Robert Frost's The Road Not Taken is more than just a poem, it's a metaphor for life's journey, a reflection on the decisions we make and their far-reaching implications. It's about the courage to take the road less travelled, to create our own path rather than simply following where others have tread. In the quiet contemplation of the traveller, we see our own inner struggles, our own doubts and fears, but also our hopes and dreams. The road less travelled is not just a physical path in the woods, it's the journey we embark on every day, the choices we make, the life we create. Such a thought-provoking piece, isn't it? Let's take a closer look. The poem begins with a traveller at a fork in the woods, a common metaphor for a decision point in life. Robert Frost paints a vivid picture in this opening stanza, immediately immersing us in a world dappled with uncertainty and choice. The woods represent the journey of life, dense with opportunities and challenges that lay hidden in its depths. The two roads diverging in the yellow wood are more than just pathways in a forest. They symbolize the choices we encounter in our lives, the decisions that shape our destiny. The yellow wood hints at the season of autumn, a time of transition reflecting the traveler's own transitional phase. It's a poignant reminder that life, like seasons, is fleeting and ever-changing. The traveler's hesitation is palpable as he stands long I stood. He is gripped by indecision, a sentiment we can all relate to. We've all experienced moments where we are torn between options, unsure of which path to take. The Traveller embodies this universal human experience, making the poem deeply relatable. Frost's use of the first-person perspective further intensifies the emotional connection. And be one traveller long I stood, he writes, placing us directly in the traveller's shoes. We are not mere spectators, we are the traveller, feeling his uncertainty, sharing his contemplation. The roads are described as just as fair, indicating that neither path holds an apparent advantage. This embodies the ambiguity of life's choices, where the outcomes are often unclear, and decisions must be made with limited information. The last line of this stanza, and look down one as far as I could, encapsulates the traveller's earnest attempt to predict the future, to foresee the potential consequences of his choice. But the path bent in the undergrowth, the future remains uncertain, mirroring life's unpredictability. 
The Traveller is at a crossroads, both literally and figuratively setting the stage for the rest of the poem. Through a simple yet evocative metaphor, Frost explores the complexity of decision-making and the human condition, inviting us to reflect on our own journeys and the roads we choose to traverse. In the second stanza, the Traveller examines both paths, an allusion to the process of decision-making. As we delve into the second stanza of Frost's The Road Not Taken, we find our traveller at a crossroads, a common metaphor for life's many decisions. He looks down one path as far as he can see, until it bends in the undergrowth. This bend, this unknown, represents the uncertainty that comes with any choice. We can only see so far down the road we choose, and beyond that, we are venturing into the unknown. The traveller then regards the other path, noting it as just as fair. This indicates that both choices have their merits, and neither is inherently better or worse. They are simply different. The path is described as having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. This could symbolise the allure of the road less travelled, the path that promises unique experiences and challenges. Yet, the traveller also acknowledges that as for the passing there, both paths had been worn really about the same. Here, Frost might be suggesting that all choices lead to experiences that eventually even out in the grand scheme of things. All paths are travelled by others in some way and our unique journey might not be as unique as we initially believe. The expression of regret is palpable as the traveller wishes he could travel both. It's a sentiment we've all felt when faced with difficult decisions. The desire to experience all that life has to offer is universal, but the reality is we must make choices. We can't take every path. We can't live every life. We must choose one road and accept that in doing so, we are also choosing to give up the experiences the other road might have offered. Though he wishes he could travel both, the narrator must make a choice, a reality many of us face in our lives. And so we move forward, carrying the weight of our decisions, the paths not taken and the roads that lie ahead. The third stanza reveals the traveler's decision a moment of resolution in the poem. Here the traveller finally makes a choice, a choice that becomes the crux of the poem. He opts for the road less travelled by, a decision that is loaded with symbolism and significance. The traveller has been standing at the crossroads contemplating, weighing his options, and finally he chooses the path that is grassy and wanted wear. This decision is not sudden or impulsive. It is the result of much deliberation, and there is a sense of resolution in the traveller's voice as he makes this choice. He is not merely choosing a path, he is choosing a way of life, a philosophy. Now let's delve into the reasons behind this choice. The traveller is drawn to the road less travelled because it is grassy and wanted wear. The road represents the unconventional, the unexplored, the untouched. It is the path of individuality, of daring to be different. The traveller is enticed by the allure of the unknown, by the promise of adventure and discovery. This choice is significant because it reflects the traveller's personality and worldview. He is someone who is not afraid to break away from the crowd, to take the path less trodden upon. He is a non-conformist, an adventurer, a risk-taker. He values individuality and originality over conformity and tradition. However, the traveller also acknowledges that both roads that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. This suggests that the roads are essentially the same, that there is little to differentiate them. The traveller's choice then is not based on any intrinsic difference between the roads, but rather on his own perception, his own interpretation of what each road represents. In essence, the third stanza is about choice and individuality, about daring to be different and embracing the unknown. It is about making decisions based on one's own perceptions and interpretations, rather than simply following the crowd. The traveller chooses the road less travelled, a decision that carries significant weight and symbolism. In the final stanza, we see the traveller reflecting on his choice, a poignant moment of introspection. The traveller has made his choice, and now he is contemplating the impact of that choice. This is where Robert Frost introduces the theme of regret. It's a universal human experience, 
the feeling of wondering what could have happened if we had chosen differently. The traveller acknowledges this with a sense of longing, a sigh that echoes the weight of his decision. Frost paints a vivid picture of the traveller's state of mind as he looks back on the moment of choice. The traveller knows that one day he will recount this tale with a sigh, a clear indication of regret, or perhaps just the realisation of the irreversible nature of the decision made. The impact of choice is a major theme in the poem. The final stanza emphasises this theme, as the traveller realises that his decision has made all the difference. He acknowledges that his choice, like all choices, has had a significant impact on his life's journey. It's a powerful statement about the importance of our decisions and how they shape the course of our lives. The poem's famous last lines, I took the one less travelled by and that has made all the difference, are a testament to the traveller's decision to take the road less travelled. These lines encapsulate the poem's central theme, the impact of our choices. The traveller's decision to take the road less travelled has made a significant difference in his life. A difference that he reflects on with a sense of nostalgia and introspection. The fourth stanza, like the rest of the poem, is a beautiful exploration of the human condition, of our capacity for choice and our tendency to reflect on those choices. It's a mirror held up to our own lives, showing us the impact of our decisions and the inevitable reflection and regret that follow. With a sigh, the traveller acknowledges the impact of his choice, a moment that resonates with all of us. Having walked through the road not taken, we can now appreciate the depth of Frost's simple yet profound poem. The beauty of this poem lies in its subtlety and the way it uses the metaphor of a fork in the road to depict the choices we make in life. The two roads symbolize the options we are often faced with, and the speaker's decision to take the road less traveled by is a testament to our human instinct to defy convention and embrace the unknown. In the first stanza, the speaker stands at a crossroads, a common symbol of decision-making. The two paths represent the choices we face throughout life. The speaker spends a while pondering his options, a reflection of the careful consideration we often give to major life decisions. The second stanza presents a choice. Both roads are equally worn, and yet the speaker chooses the one less travelled by. This resonates with our desire to make unique choices, to carve out our own path rather than follow the crowd. In the third stanza, the speaker acknowledges that he might never return to this fork in the road. Similarly, once we make a choice, we often cannot go back. This underscores the significance of our decisions and the irreversible nature of time. The final stanza reveals the speaker's satisfaction with his choice. Despite initial uncertainty, he is content with his decision, a sentiment that echoes our own feelings when we finally make a difficult decision. The speaker's choice has made all the difference, just as our decisions shape our lives. So, what does Frost's poem teach us? It tells us that life is a journey filled with choices. Each decision, no matter how small, has the potential to change the course of our lives. It encourages us to embrace the unknown, to make decisions that resonate with us, and to accept the consequences of our choices. Remember, every choice matters, every path taken or not taken shapes our journey. Until next time, keep exploring the world of poetry.